Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, energy enthusiasts! Welcome back to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's sparking debates in the sustainable energy world, hydrogen versus batteries. But we've got a twist, we're introducing a game changer called Gold Hydrogen. Buckle up as we explore why hydrogen, especially gold hydrogen, might have the edge in the long run. Section 1, The Abundance of Water for Hydrogen Production Let's kick things off with a mind-blowing fact, we have an almost unlimited supply of the raw material needed for hydrogen production, water. Our planet is 71% water, and while not all of it is easily accessible, we're talking about a vast resource that's constantly recycled through the water cycle. As long as we have water and clean energy to split it, we can produce green hydrogen. It's like having a never-ending source of clean fuel. This abundance gives hydrogen a significant advantage in terms of long-term sustainability. But here's where it gets even more exciting, enter gold hydrogen. This naturally occurring form of hydrogen is found in underground deposits, often in areas where we've previously looked for fossil fuels. It's like nature's own hydrogen factory, producing and storing this clean energy source over millions of years. Section 2, The Lithium Dilemma. Now, let's talk about batteries, specifically lithium-ion batteries that are currently dominating the electric vehicle market. Lithium might be the star of the show right now, but it's not without its problems. Lithium is a finite resource. Unlike water for green hydrogen or the natural processes creating gold hydrogen, we can't just make more lithium. Current estimates suggest that at our current rate of consumption, we could face lithium shortages in the coming decades. Moreover, the process of mining lithium and other minerals used in batteries is causing significant environmental concerns. From water pollution to habitat destruction, the environmental cost of battery production is a growing issue that we can't ignore. Lithium mining often requires vast amounts of water, which can be a problem in the arid regions where lithium is often found. It can take up to 500,000 gallons of water to produce one ton of lithium. In contrast, gold hydrogen requires no water for its production as it's already formed and stored underground. Section 3, The Lifespan Challenge Here's another curveball, battery performance degrades over time. A typical EV battery lasts about 10 years. That might sound like a long time, but in the grand scheme of our clean energy transition, it's just a blink of an eye. And here's the kicker, to produce one new EV battery, we need to recycle about 60 old ones. That's a lot of batteries. This short lifespan and difficult recycling process mean we're potentially looking at a massive waste management issue down the line. It's not just an environmental concern, it's an economic one too. Constantly replacing and recycling batteries could become a significant drain on resources. In contrast, hydrogen fuel cells, whether powered by green or gold hydrogen, don't face the same degradation issues. They can operate for much longer periods without significant loss of efficiency. And when it comes to gold hydrogen, we're tapping into reservoirs that have been stable for millions of years. Section 4, The Long-Term Economic Perspective Now, let's talk money. Yes, setting up hydrogen production infrastructure is expensive. We're talking about electrolyzers for green hydrogen, or extraction technologies for gold hydrogen. It's a big investment up front. But here's where we need to shift our perspective, we need to think long-term. While the initial costs are high, hydrogen infrastructure has the potential for much longer term viability. Once it's set up, we're looking at a system that can produce clean fuel from an abundant resource for decades to come. There's no need for constant replacement of degrading parts on the same scale as battery systems. Gold hydrogen adds another economic advantage to the mix. Since it's already formed and stored underground, we can potentially reduce the energy and cost associated with hydrogen production. It's like finding a natural hydrogen reserve, ready for use. Section 5, Versatility of Hydrogen Another point in hydrogen's favor is its versatility. Batteries are great for certain applications, particularly in personal vehicles and small-scale energy storage. But hydrogen can do all that and more. Hydrogen fuel cells can power everything from cars to trucks, trains, and even aircraft. 
It can be used for large-scale, long-term energy storage. It can provide high temperature heat for industrial processes. This versatility means investing in hydrogen infrastructure could have wide-ranging benefits across multiple sectors. And here's where gold hydrogen shines even brighter. Its natural occurrence in various geological formations means we could potentially have localized hydrogen sources across different regions. This could reduce transportation costs and enhance energy security for many areas. Section 6, Gold Hydrogen and Green Hydrogen, a powerful combination. Now, you might be wondering, does gold hydrogen mean we should forget about green hydrogen? Absolutely not. In fact, gold hydrogen and green hydrogen can work together beautifully to create a more robust and flexible hydrogen economy. Gold hydrogen gives us a readily available source of clean hydrogen, which is fantastic. But it's not infinite. Green hydrogen, produced through electrolysis using renewable energy, can supplement gold hydrogen supplies. This combination ensures we have a steady and scalable hydrogen supply. We can use excess renewable energy to produce green hydrogen when supply is high. Then, we can blend this with our gold hydrogen reserves to meet demand when renewable energy production is low. This creates a more stable and reliable clean energy ecosystem. Section 7, The Path Forward. So, what does all this mean for our energy future? Should we abandon batteries altogether and go all in on hydrogen? Not necessarily. The reality is, we'll likely need both technologies as we transition to a cleaner energy system. Batteries will continue to play a crucial role, especially in the short to medium term. They're a mature technology that's already making a significant impact in reducing emissions from transportation. But as we look to the long-term future of sustainable energy, hydrogen, both green and gold, presents some compelling advantages. Its abundance, versatility, and potential for truly long-term sustainability make it an essential part of our clean energy mix. The key is to use each technology where it makes the most sense. Batteries might continue to dominate in personal vehicles and short-term energy storage. Hydrogen could take the lead in long-haul transport, industrial applications, and long-term energy storage. Conclusion As we've seen, while batteries are making waves in the short term, hydrogen, especially with the exciting addition of gold hydrogen, could be the long-distance runner in our clean energy race. Its abundant source material, versatility, and long-term viability make it a compelling option for sustained investment. From its virtually unlimited raw material to its potential for dramatic cost reductions, from its versatility across sectors to its promise of true long-term sustainability, hydrogen offers some unique advantages in our quest for clean energy. And with gold hydrogen entering the scene, we're looking at an even more promising future for this clean energy carrier. But remember, the energy transition isn't about picking winners and losers. It's about creating a diverse, resilient energy system that can meet our needs sustainably for generations to come. Batteries, green hydrogen, and gold hydrogen will all likely play important roles in this future. If you're excited about the potential of hydrogen and want to be at the forefront of this technology, don't forget to check out our comprehensive green hydrogen development and financing course at reneenergy.com. Remember, the future of energy is changing fast, and it's thinkers like you who will shape that future. Stay curious, stay informed, and let's build a cleaner, greener world together. See you in the next video. Thanks for tuning into the reneenergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.